hi friends uh, welcome to my video so in this video we are going to solve a basic electrostatic problem so the problem is as given here uh, I have written it down the square surface density of charge on a thin circular disk of radius capital R is sigma as a function of R is equal to capital A into R where A is a, a constant and smaller is a radial distance from the center of the disk Oh, sorry for the video. Uh, yeah, fine. Calculate the electric field at any point on the axis of the disk. So first of all, we have to make a picture of this. Oh, I'm taking a pencil and let us draw a circular disk here. Center is here and the distance radial distance is capital R so the particle line is drawn and a point P on this we have to measure the electric field at point P the OP distance is X now we have to consider a small volume sorry surface element on the disk like this so this surface element is for the uniformly charged disk and we will join this element and P and this distance is small r so we will name the point as point D so PD is equal to small r now this is our x axis and this is our y axis this is our figure now for solving this problem we have to consider the potential uh, at the point P of this problem so as you can see that for this uniformly charged disk this volume element would add up for all the all the things all the disk to configure this and the formula is like this ds is equal to a small uh, area of the uh, surface element of the disk so in this circular uh, coordinate system this is r dr d theta so the angle extended by the small element is theta as i have written down and this distance is smaller the distance from the center to the surface element now uh, as the surface charge density is given, we will write sigma r is equal to a small r. And the next part is the formula of potential. d as a function of r is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into integral over s this is the total surface integration over sigma ds by small r this is the formula of determining potential Fine. so we have to solve the problem we have to go to the next part of this so next page let us go so yeah we have come to our next page uh, i have also drawn the figure and the major thing that I have to substitute on the L, uh, uh, left hand side equation is I, I have written 8 on the right side we will substitute them one by one 1 by 4 by epsilon naught surface integral of sigma is equal to AR write it down into ds write it down and finally by small r like this now this is a matter of simple integration uh, double integral will be here so we will do this 4 pi epsilon naught we will take the a out so like this fine so 0 to r when we are integrating the smaller uh, we will write it down r square dr upon root over x square plus r square into integral of the total circular disk okay so we have to take angle 0 to 2 pi into d theta like this 
now we have to simplify this again and this will give us this r squared here uh, the total uh, angle integration will be 2 pi so it will cancel with the 4 pi it will give a by 2 epsilon naught into integral okay one minute yeah so we have to substitute something so i am making a line x square plus r square is equal to small t square okay and r dr is equal to t dt we are uh, differentiating the first equation to get the second okay fine so from the first equation small r will be root over of t square minus x square now we have to substitute the all the things here to get our uh, integral very efficiently so x and the, we are uh, assigning a variable k which is basically a constant root over x square plus r square so x to k is the integral and the others are written as this t square minus x square into t dt upon small t okay so if t t gets cancelled okay uh, now the rest part is simply a law of integration of root over t square minus x square which is i am writing, writing it down t square minus x square into t by 2 plus x square by 2 into ln x sorry you know x t plus t square minus x square like this yeah and the limits are x and k okay so now i will simply simplify this to our required form of potential is equal to a by 2 epsilon naught into we have to take the value of uh, t and all the things to uh, substitute them like this x square into a then simple simple algebra there is nothing more and taking all the thing from that uh, a then uh, the value of t substituting here we have to get the form ln k plus root over k square minus x square within bracket of course uh, and the x uh, limits will be get cancelled out the first term and the second term will give us minus x square by 2 into ln x within bracket so fine this is uh, uh, okay we have to simplify something more that we have to substitute the value of k here so k is basically root over x square plus r square it will give us a by 2 epsilon naught x square plus r square root over into r by 2 plus x square by 2 into ln root over uh, okay this will r plus root over x square plus r square by x this is the main uh, formula of potential now uh, okay write it down if uh, b of x now the potential uh, we require because we have to determine the electric field the electric field is nothing but the gradient of potential negative gradient of potential I have shown it here uh, as B is a function of X only E is equal to minus gradient of B uh, or E vector is equal to minus del V del X into X cap so we have the uh, expression of B we can make the partial differentiation to get this E vector is equal to minus X cap A by 2 epsilon naught into r by 2 into half into x square plus r square whole to the power minus half into 2x plus x ln the rest part all the things 
this will give you a big equation but not this is not at all complex so we have to simplify it down and the final result you get is like x, x cap into a into x by 2 epsilon naught ln r square plus root over r square plus x square by x minus r in by root over r square plus x square so we have got our answer okay so that is all for today we will meet in the next video do like my uh, video subscribe to my channel and stay happy stay safe and stay tuned okay goodbye for today